Good afternoon. Welcome to everybody who joined today's afternoon webinar in the series of HCL Digital Solutions CEE Cafe. For uh, those who joined for the first time, I will introduce the series in a while. Uh, my name is Peter Kunz. I'm based in Prague and I will be your guide today. The topic for this afternoon session is what is new in digital solutions software portfolio since spring let's say since april or may when we've got similar session in this series as well and where we covered news in spring this year uh, some enhancements additions new version new releases happened during summer so we open this autumn season with overview of what is new in in this portfolio if i will mention something about future releases like version 14 typically version 14 it is still in the phase like plan we would like to release or something as 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 you know already from the past until the product is finally released all planned features and benefits and, and functionalities are still open and, and to be decided. Uh, this session is part of, let's say, cafe series. We call it cafe series. And we try to organize once a month virtual session like, like this one. Uh, we started two or three years ago, then we got a small break and we started again at the beginning of, of this year. So far this year, we've got four sessions. You can see them on the screen and uh, they are available as a video recordings as well as slides for downloading. The same is valid also for today's session. So everything that you will see you can later download and watch from 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 replay uh, links will be provided at the end of the session as well as in the follow-up email that all attendees will will receive in in your mailboxes okay so we can we can directly start so we have a lot of a lot of things to cover today so let's start with the uh, first part, which will, which will be the, the major one, the, the biggest part, and it is about what is new or what was released, new version updates, enhancements in digital solution products, mainly the products that, um, that are connected to nodes and domino. So we will cover products like nodes, domino, verse, nomad, leap, of course, in today's session, I will not cover same time connections, digital experience or something like this, because uh, it will be too much for, for, let's say, one hour, one hour and a half session. So we will mainly focus on things directly related to nodes and domino. So let's let's start exactly with the nodes and, and domino part. Uh, the latest versions are on the screen, including fixed specs. So everybody who is on version 1202 could consider upgrading to fixed spec two that was released uh, that, that was released during summer. And for those who cannot upgrade for any reason to to the latest version 12, and you have to stay on version 11, uh, a new fixed spec eight was was released. Uh, there are uh, many fixes and also security fixes because we can we can expose domino services to the public internet that's why that's why we have to focus and and consider uh, strong security uh, <clears throat> strong security protection i did not mention uh, in this list version 9 and version 10 also, we know that some, some of the customers, not much, but, but a few customers still run on these older versions, 9 and 10. I did not mention those versions because these releases, 10 and 9, and of course, or the earlier, are already out of 
marketing and they will be out of support within less than one month, uh, one year, I'm sorry. You can see the dates on the top of the screen. So if you are still running version nine and version 10 in, I don't know, 10 or nine months, it's more like nine, nine months, you will be out of support. So since summer next year, we will not provide official support for version 10 and uh, uh, earlier releases. In the past year, let's say in the past 12 months, we've got a series of webinars, domino jams, online offline sessions around the globe, where we discussed how you customers and you BPs can help your customers, how to upgrade from, from the older versions. So if you did not attend such webinars, you can download them, you can download slides, you can watch replays. There are sessions why to upgrade to version 10, uh, to, sorry, to version 12 and how to upgrade. So one is more business oriented and decision oriented. And the second part, how to upgrade is purely technical oriented for, for Domino admins. So I strongly suggest check all these resources if you are still on version nine on, or version 10. Uh, the, the updates that happen in pure notes and Domino, and let me go, go back, are fix packs. Uh, it means they they fix some they fix uh, issues uh, like security and and product related. They do not bring much new features. So that's why I will focus in today's session more on the more on the products that are related to to basic notes and Domino line, and they are updated more frequently, like Nomad verse. Uh, leap and so on. So, so this will be covered uh, in the following minutes. Just a a teaser. I guess majority of you knows that we plan to release next main version. It will be version fourteen. We skip version thirteen. <clears throat> so after version twelve, there will be version fourteen, and we target we plan we plan to release it at the end of this year. And we've got a special session about what is planned for version 14 when uh, first notices, when first really, when first updates were published uh, earlier this year in in April May. We've covered it in in uh, in DS Cafe as well. And if you check the, the the schedule, the agenda for this year, there will be a special session focusing just on, on notes and domino version 14 in two months. In November, in November cafe, we will focus only on, on version 14. So now, now it is just a teaser uh, that uh, that is planning for the end of the year. Of course, if you want, you can download. There are early access uh, installation files. So if you access FlexNet or the new or the new download server, you can download uh, version 14 for Nodes and Domino on your platforms and play play with it and explore the new features. It is available for all active customers with active maintenance so you do not need to subscribe like it was years ago subscribe to special uh, open or closed beta programs no no if you if you have access to to download servers you can download also this version 14 uh, releases it's it's still early access it's not it's not like version 14.00 no we, 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 for first uh, first uh, production release, we have to wait until the end of this year. So let's move from the core notes and domino to uh, products that are related, that we install on domino servers, that we in, that uh, our clients use, or that we integrate with notes and domino. The first one is HCLverse, a web interface to notes, calendar, and contacts. And 
during summer a new version was released, version 3.1, what this version brought new uh, for you, for your users. I've got some slides, I've got also some live demos. So let me let me switch between slides and demos so it is more, more uh, pleasant way to, to watch the news for you. Uh, first one is uh, adding template support for for verse for males. Uh, this is my verse, <coughs> my verse client. And if I want to use template in notes client, we use it stationaries. It's like it's like predefined email with uh, text or or some some answers that we repeat very often so we do not want to copy paste every time we need it. In my case, I'm a, I am a technical advisor and I often um, answer similar questions like where to download files, how to create a support ticket, uh, how to dum download DLAW and how to work with it and so on. So I, now I can inverse, I can simply create compose template and choose the template I want. So for example, for support, this is predefined template. Hello, thank you. Here you can create a, a support ticket and watch with it. I just fill in the name and submit and done. You can easily create such template by just creating a new mail. Here is the link to download DLAW and so on and so on. And instead of submit, you save it as a template, you name it, and it is now saved in your in your templates in your templates view. Uh, another thing that we added for emails is preview. Preview. Until now, if you would like to watch and let me show, let me filter emails with um, attachments only. If you would like to preview the uh, Office document, Word, Excel, PowerPoint. You would you would have to install connections docs even in this read read only not 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 for editing but this rendering were done by connections docs now it is done purely by by Domino and you can preview the file without downloading and opening in a native application so so this is also new in version three point one of Verse another update is uh, recalling message recall uh, some features that that we present for uh, verse are all, already present in in the notes in, in in the rich notes client and and this this supports our statement that we want to put the most used features and features that you asked uh, you customers and you partners ask us to to include in verse and we are including them from 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 rich client. So in a rich client, we've got a uh, message recall function for for years. Now, if you if you send email and let me switch, I've got email that I sent yesterday to my colleagues. It is named budget 2024, budget for the next year, and and by accident. I sent, I, I attached a, a wrong attachment, not for next year budget, but you know this quarter. So I can, I can recall, I can click and recall the message and recall from from all from all people or from some of them. I can get uh, notification uh, status if it was recalled or or not. So this feature that was available in rich client only is now available in inverse as well. Uh, if I'm in this email with attachment, I can show you another feature that is new in version 301, and it is deleting attachments from uh, messages from from emails. So I want to keep email. I want I I downloaded the the attachment, or it is not necessary for uh, for me anyway. It is big, and I do not want to increase the message size and I can click on and delete, delete the attachment from the message. Let me check what we have in the overview. Yes, this is deleting. And now we are switching from 
mail enhancement to meeting enhancements. And so let's move to calendar. So let's move to calendar. This is my calendar. And if I want to plan a meeting um, with my colleagues, well, let's say this is this time. Okay, for this project, Sirius, my favorite project name. And I want to invite my colleagues. Mm, required. Thomas and Tim Clark. Now I can watch in a graphical way when we, when all three of us are available or not. Uh, this graphical presentation was available in previous versions of ours. Now we added this, these handles where you can move, uh, move the slot until you find the, the correct time slot. And what is also new is suggested times because you see we we are all bu uh, busy and it could be hard to find a, a, a proper time slot. So I can let verse to decide that first free is Friday tomorrow. It's it's already this one, or let's say Monday. And if I need the full hour, I, this, this is the oh yes, these two slots are available. If 30 minutes is okay, now I have more options. Uh, so, so this is new in ver in version verse 301, 31. Sorry, and another one is for existing. Let me cancel this one. Discard, and for existing meeting that I created, that I am a chair, I am the organizer. It is this one. And for any reason, I need to reschedule it or I would like to send some information to attendees that they should prepare some materials or something like this. There is a new button in the latest verse, verse release, send a message to invitees. And if you click on it, <coughs> you will get new mail with uh, pre-filled uh, participants and you can you can start sending them email with more instructions for example okay yeah and another one that i almost forgot if you plan a new meeting you can the same way as in notes rich client you can predefine in your settings in your personal settings some links to online online meeting services. In my case, I can decide between GoToMeeting, which you are using right now, or internal same time. And if you click on configure meetings, it goes to it it goes to your verse settings and there is a new section where you can create and modify this predefined uh, external meeting addresses that you can uh, then simply use and quickly use when planning a new meeting. Discard. Okay, and now to contacts. Let me show you contacts. If I click on contacts, uh, we see, and, and you ask for this uh, a lot. Uh, in old verse versions, we used the old iNotes user interface for displaying contacts. Now we now we uh, redesign it and we use React components and it, it has the same uh, look and feel like the rest of mail and calendar components. You can you can synchronize this email, create a new con uh, these contacts, create a new contact. If you click on it, you've got all the details. It's in in nice and in nice and and clean way. And when it makes sense, it's clickable. So if you click on email, it will create a new email, or you can call a phone. Typically, if you are on mobile device, it will it will get uh, it will call a number that is specified in the contact. Live photos. Yes, and if you and this is what was asked also a lot by 
by customers and partners. If you've got an email, this one is from Felix Adams, from external person. I would like to add him to contacts. So he's in my local contacts and I can see, see him in, in this contacts view. Now I can click, click, click and add sender to contacts. It is valid for incoming emails as well as for for uh, mail if i go to calendar for show me calendars for calendar invitations so if i got calendar invitation i've got also include in email uh at to at to contacts so this is this is new and if you use delegation if you use delegation like you want to uh, share part of your mail database that contains mail, calendar, and uh, contact synchronize synchronized on the server. Now in verse, you can specify that you want to share contacts with your colleagues. And these are the options. I want to share mail, calendar and contacts, calendar and contacts only, read access, write access, and so on. So now you can use all these delegation options right from, from Verse. You do not need to go and switch to rich client. Speaking about mail and calendar and web, there is a new announcement, one, one reminder and one, one announcement. You maybe saw that when, when I'm in this, in this view, there is a new, a new item in the top level menu on time. If I click on it, I've got this view. I hope I'm still logged in. You've got this view that shows data from calendar in Domino. So th these data are from uh, mail databases in Domino, and they are presented in a more pleasant way for those people who live all the day in, in calendar. So you can get access to, to selected people that you work the most. You can see the, the calendar plans. You can see details. You can see information about the person, about the specific, about the specific uh, meeting who is invited, who accepted, and so on and so on. You have free hand if you want to specify how much do you want to see on the screen if you want to see more you can simply you can easily zoom in zoom out you can even create new entries invite people this is like like calendar on 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 steroids uh, since this spring it is available for customers so if you are a customer or partner with ccb licensing you can download and deploy this on your domino server for free for up to 50 people for 50 users i i tried it, i tried it this week Two, two days ago, I, uh, I fill in the form so I can download the, the latest version and, it in, and it's instant. So you fill in the form, you will receive a download link to email and you can start deploying on your server. Why I downloaded the latest version recently when I deployed this for the first time a few months ago, it is because in the new version, you have feature share my time and this is new this is new and new announcement from from this summer and with this new uh share my time feature this here share my time it allows you to publish some part of your calendar exposed to public typically uh, on some web form or you can email the, the, the web link with free slots, which, exter uh, which external people can use to book your time. So you can specify, okay, every Monday and Wednesday, four hours in the afternoon, I am open for customer presentations and so on. And uh, let's publish these free slots on the web. And I, as, a, as an external customer, 
can click on it and I instantly see if you are free this Monday or next week Monday, if you are free at 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m. and I can click on it, select the slot and submit. And it's up to you if it is automatically update uh, approved and so on and so on. So it could be all, all uh, parameterized in this, in, in this dialog and the workflow is simple you as an internal person you, speci you uh, specify your slots and availability what you would like to expose you can even specify things like i want some some free time like 5 15 minutes between between each each session i want i want to uh, make them close together so I do not want to have big gaps like one hour meeting, one hour nothing, one hour meeting and so on. So we can specify this. Then external people will, will see this web interface. They can specify, okay, so next Wednesday and I want one hour slot and I which suits me the best. I can click on it and then it appears as a new calendar meeting in Domino in, in the one who created the calendar. So this is great for probably bigger companies that, that have to manage uh, manage time in calendars very often, or for even for smaller companies that provide this type of services like, hey, we are available, we can show you our products, our solutions, or be ready for any discussion, just find a free slots and book our time. So this is all about verse now it is good time to move to another product that we install on domino and is exposed via web to to new clients to, to end users and it is noma uh, new version was released 109 there was some preview for some weeks and i think it is just a few days maybe this week or past week when I download it and, and, and deploy it on my on my demo servers. Let's check, let's check what's new in Nomad. Let me close this one. Okay, yeah, this one. Uh, this is Nomad version 109. And what is of course you can you can work with the, with the applications online, offline, and so on. We we presented this. Know, in, in, in previous session, uh, what is new in the in the summer releases is Infobox. You know, in Notes Client, and let me show Notes Client is one properties. If we are admins and developers, we need this one. We need this properties box where we do a lot of a lot of configuration and, and settings and get information and so on. It is uh, useful for admins or it is necessary for Domino admins. And if I would be in Domino Designer, similar properties box is for, is for design elements. So it was just a matter of time when we would have to uh, deploy something similar into, into these web interface into this uh, nomad web and it is not in the form as <coughs> as a <coughs> sorry as a floating window it sits on the right side of the screen uh, right click a new item workspace properties <coughs> and you see on the right side there is a new tab and you can specify the same way as and let me let me move back the same way as you specify okay i am in database or document i can say database doc document workspace the same way you can specify it here now we have database and workspace in workspace you can rename and change colors which was not possible in in previous in previous versions you can compact and you can specify it, uh, font colors and so on. More interesting is if you select some application, application properties, this one. So you can see similar tabs that you have 
in this nodes nodes properties box and if you want to set something there is advanced settings and you can configure i'm not a manager for this application so something is something is hidden you can you can even go deep and open a document let me select some document inventory for example there is a document and now it's switched to to document document info when it was created uh, who modified the document the, the last time you can have access to fields ghost product name so pretty similar that you have in your notes rich client is now available in in nomad web what we added new also is um, opening in new window so right now if you open databases or documents it creates new tabs in the same window in the same browser window sometimes it's if, if you have more <coughs> i'm sorry if you have more for example monitors you want to you want to set uh, some information on the second screen and and be more productive now you can uh, you can right click open in a new window and completely new window is open and now you can position it wherever you want so, so this is another update in the latest version and we continuously improve uh, restyle restyle functionality that allows you to let's say update or modernize a little bit uh, design look and feel of your old applications that are no more maintained but there are still important data they are used but they they have the same design for years and you do not have either capacity or time to to spend time in modernizing so you can take these older applications like this one or this one default one and restyle it restyle will touch will modify design only not business logic not agents not formulas and so on it it touches it modifies only only look and feel only user interface and what is new in this latest nomad version right click application restyle <clears throat> Restyle will change the design. You should have an, a backup. Uh, yes, I have a backup. I have a template. So whenever, whenever happen, uh, whatever happens bad, I can revert it by applying the the template again. In notes, it's 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 pretty easy. This first page in this wizard, you probably know if you if you played with the uh, restyle before what is new is that we added uh, a possibility to select your custom color <clears throat> until now there were I don't know, six seven default colors that matches the the color palette uh, that we that we design initially but if you are a company and you have custom colors like we have at hcl we have a specific uh, custom color specific blue Z rgb zero seven one eighty two it's like this one and this is our hcl blue and now can now i can use it uh, as a color as a main color for this restyling application click next Keeping as keeping things uh, with default values. This one is new. This one is new. The in this bizarre page, you can specify in more detail what will be restyled. You can you can completely overwrite color or make it like more like more like color to the blue that I that I just selected. You can completely remove background images from the table that are only for design purpose. They that do not uh, add any information value. You can specify, okay, I want to restyle forms and pages, but not views. 
for any reason you can even specify which forms which forms you want to you want to restyle which forms which views and 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 which not so this is pretty detailed let me click on it next in version 12 we added support for for bigger and nicer application icons so we added a wizard where you can assemble this application from uh, from pieces uh, circle square gradient and this is discussion so let's select people multiple users this one and now the restyle itself is, is working, is, is progressing, uh, and within a couple of seconds, it updates design of the, of the old application. Ta-da, it's done, okay. New, new icon, and this is new design. You see the blue is used in in navigators uh some some sort of blue is is used in this in this header also unread unread documents use this kind of blue color so this was uh redesigned to match the few rules that i that i specified in the in the bizarre to to to, to check to play with the restyle you need the new notes client it has to be version 12 or the the new nomad version if you want to do it from web of course if you do the change with restyle to the application since 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 now this application can be used and accessed also by clients on older versions old notes clients and they still will see the the updates that we created only for restyle itself you need new notes client or new nomad version and one last update that that i'm happy to i'm glad i can show it to you now because i've received notification from my from my colleague yesterday last night so it is less than 24 hours and i hope i can show you it now is preview of nomad version 10 so you see uh, a few days ago we released 109 nomad and now there is 1010 and 1010 brings one big uh, change and it is this is 1010 right click i've got application yeah like this one right click opening new window i show you but there is opening designer and if i click on it i've got designer domino designer running in a web browser the same way as, as nomad and i can do the things that i can do in in classic domino designer on on windows for example so if i uh, forms let me show, start with views sales views modify play with it columns right click view properties and now you know why we need it first in current version why we first uh, had to add support for this properties pane in version 109 so we could later in 1010 use it for domino designer running in in a web browser if i go to forms show me forms this one and you can see this is the application uh, this is the start page for for this application it is available right now on our send <coughs> sorry on our sandbox and later in this session i will remind you the the url where each of you can start experimenting and playing with this pretty new feature this is just a preview it is not release for let's say for real usage real production yet it is technology preview 
for the next version of Nomad Web. Okay. So let me go to slides. And this is for your offline use and just a summary what we discuss in this Nomad session. The latest version is 109, released recently. And we added a new properties box uh, where you can manage properties for workspace databases and as well as documents the same way as you do in in notes rich client we updated restyle we updated restyle with custom colors more detailed specification what you can update with restyle and uh, this is just a a reminder what was released at the beginning of summer you know uh, and it could confuse you or your users uh, in recent chrome versions there is a new feature memory save uh, that you know puts on hold or let's say unload from memory some tabs that i that are not used for some time and this could cause problem with Nomad because if it is unloaded, then you have to reload. You could lose some information and so on. So this is just warning. Hey, you are using a, a Chrome with this feature enable. And it, it is just a warning that you should think about it uh, when you work with uh, Nomad Web. And also what we added new and what was asked by many customers is that in version 109 in the summer version you can turn off you can dis you can disable you can disable notes shared login which is enabled by default and it helps you to to start nomad quickly to not ask you for password every time you start an open nomad if you own the laptop if it is your laptop your private laptop that you use only you it is not shared with with your colleagues then then it could be fine if it is shared desktop you should probably want to disable it now you can now usa administrator can disable node shared login for for nomad and as a preview, and as a preview, uh, very fresh news from yesterday. Uh, there is a designer running in a web browser, so you do you can update databases without starting Domino Designer on Windows. So, for example, if you are on a Mac, you do not need to you do not need to start Windows machine and and Domino Designer in in it from designer and applications we can move to another product that is an extension to domino and it's, it's installed deployed on domino server and it's also used for designing web applications and it is domino leap it is Domino Leap. The latest version, also released a few days or weeks ago, is 1.1.2. And this version, this version, let me show it to you. We, I think we can close this one. And let me show you version on Orion. This one. Ah, log out. I am logged as a user, not as a admin, who is able to create application. So if I log as admin. Now I can see the, the admin interface. Yes. 
So as you see, only only people who admin specified. Yes, this group of people can create and update applications in, in Domino Leap, is able to, to use this design interface. Uh, we, we've got a special session just about uh, Domino Leap. I think it was in March earlier this year. For those who saw this for the first time or are not, not yet experienced, this is a tool for designing application in a web browser with stored data and business logic in Domino NSF applications like we used to do the, the classic way. And it's focused on applications uh, that are web-based, internal and external, forms, surveys, process, uh, pro progressing support tickets, and so on. This is example of some of these some of applications that I that I created just to demonstrate some some features. You can integrate the vault, the the leap application with external systems. When I click on this record, like right now, click within let's say half of seconds, it contacted CRM, external system CRM, and based on the uh, input parameters, it pulled information from this external system and presented it and presented it in this unified view. So you can develop applications as well as integrate with external systems. What is new in this uh, in this last release are two features. The first one is admin dashboard. There is a new there is a new tab at the top, admin, and if you click on it, you see all the applications that are running on your system. You will see who administer it, if it is running, if it is deployed or still in in preparation preparation stage like this one. If you click on it, you've got information more details you can export you can launch the application let me show some maybe this one and if i launch the application it it will show me show me the the form for it so this is new it is ready all you need to do is specify in access control list which people which users are allowed to see to see this this dashboard it is recalculated once a day by default because in bigger companies and with big applications it could be it could be a big workload so by default it is it is updated once once a day and second is for this one is for let's say for admins and second update is for developers and if i create a application new one Cafe. This is how is it right now. Within a second, I created a new application and I can start assemble this web app by adding by adding widgets from the last from the left widget palette uh, in the form checkbox, select date, time, and so on and so on. Name picker from name picker from from Domino. You name it. Uh, there, there, there are there are a lot of widgets available out of the box, and we we created applications with these widgets for 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 years, and and they are they are suitable for work you have to done. But if you use if you have more applications and you develop not one, two, or five applications, but you develop dozens or hundreds of applications in your company, you want to unify or reuse some components. You have to you, you want to slightly modify it name picker so you do not need to configure it all the time or checkbox or some radio buttons and so on. So we added in this latest version, we added a option of creating custom widgets and i have three custom widgets in this palette right now uh, and let me show them to you two are available out of the box so these two are easy and they are for playing for experimenting for usa admin to 
to check if you can enable it. So I can add page header at the top and yes, no, widget simply yes, no, that will create yes, no. And if I do preview, the page header will be very simple. Just this is page one. You can add company logo, company name, links, navigators or something like this. And yes, no, uh, just is just a specified radio button with two options, yes and no. Just, just uh, again, for educational purposes. Uh, and my colleague, and there is a documentation and examples. I booked some exam names examples <clears throat> this is what you put this is what you put in in configuration link, links to to javascript files and this is how you specify the javascript yes no form palette so so this is some basic information how you can develop and put together combine together uh this custom widget and my colleague Stefano said, okay, I take it as a, as a opportunity. And he's developing one internal application with graphical representation of, of numbers. And he created this gauge widget, this one. So you, you saw, I just simply drag and drop something that is, that is visual. You can specify, uh, scale it will be uh, 55 you can watch it that it instantly recreates you can specify that 100 percent will be 300 and then you can you can see the the pie slices and so on number of accounts and so on so you can you in in the widget definition you specify parameters and you code visual representation so you so it is it is really useful and this is how how my colleague create a widget that he can now reuse in in things like this one so this is the application internal application for for doing reports and he originally created these widgets like manually and since new version is released he said okay i will take the code put it package as a widget and now he can easily uh, repeat it four times and and add it and also other people like me can reuse his code so so this is what is new in in uh, summer version of Leap and, and Domino Leap. Until now, if we take this onion chart, onion chart, uh, where Domino is in the center and all features that I presented right now are added as a layers speaking about complexity on the one side and possibilities on the other side are uh, Nomad, Restyle and Leap. This is what we covered until now. Domino as a secure storage uh, for application development. It still exists. You can, you can develop cl a classic way with Domino Designer. If you want to add some layer, the simplest one is simplest one is to add Nomad as a web access to your applications without need to recode the applications then you can you can do restyle we saw it when we when i took 20 years old design and put it in some in some new more modern code more modern ui domino leap requires to put some effort it is still low code or no code you do not need to code something you just assemble things but but you it is you who put together a new form that that creates new user interface to existing domino applications now the last two parts of this and and two new and enhan two, two enhancements uh in the summer releases is vault mx and rest api they they walk 
hand in hand in hand together because because Volt MX need REST API to access Domino. So let me start quickly and this is just one slide. Domino REST API, a new release, a latest release 106. Uh, this is another product that we release continuously and more often than a classic nodes or, or Domino releases. It's available from, from FlexNet. You can download, you can deploy it on Domino server, Windows, Linux, and you as a admin together with designer specify which databases, which forms, which views, which agents uh, are accessible from, from external systems, whether it is read only, read write, all fields in the form or just selected fields, you have uh, all the security in, in your hands. And external systems can access Domino via these REST API calls and either read or write uh, data into, into NSF applications. Uh, then in our portfolio, in digital solutions portfolio, we've got uh, Vault MX product. It is pair. Uh, there are actually like two main components, uh, Iris and Foundry. Iris is a designer tool. You can see this on the, on the screen. It's IDE, integrated uh, developer environment, where you design applications for web or, or mobile. And at the back end, there is a component called Foundry that takes care of the security integration, uh, <coughs> and some some modular extensions and one of the features that was released this summer is a release of Vault MX Go version 2.0 that uh, tightly connects or tightly integrates with Domino, specifically with Domino. So if you see the name Vault MX Go, it means it's a it's a licensing and technology bundle of Vault MX and REST API and, and uh, Domino that you can use to create new web interface for Domino applications. Uh, I present these uh, examples or, or what is on the screen, the, the UPS delivery, uh, in the past, so now I I chose another another example, and let me show you <laughs> application. This one we've got Domino, we've got application on Domino, NSF trainings. Uh, I, I I see information or trainings, registered people, venues, some statistics, maybe some agents running at the at the backend, and so on. I want to expose it uh, to public, to internal people, external people, and add some add some more features. So I uh, let me show you this one. So my colleagues, who are better developers than I am, created this application in Vault MX Go. Uh, they used Iris. They used Iris to design all all the elements. It is similar, like if you code in Domino Designer, you you put a a element and then you specify parameters for this design element. And this is it. You've got I've got trainings, six trainings, uh, trainings. This is it. Six trainings. If I click on it, I've got information. I see uh, times when this training will happen on a specified schedule. I can see participant who registered, manage registration, edit, delete. You can see all the interface is modern looking and it use a Domino REST API to access Domino, to pull data, and push store updates into Domino NSF, which is the source of the truth. So all of the all the important data are stored in N NSF, and this is for presentation integration, maybe security logging, uh, 
authentication and so on and so on. If you are interested in in this oh, sorry. in this Vault MX, there is a a, a uh, a series of presentations happening every week right now i think one was the last one was yesterday another is next week uh, three or three already happened one uh, one is to go in the follow-up email i will send you link to the recordings of these sessions they are targeted for domino designers for domino developers so if you are interested in it and you are developer, you are Domino developer, you can watch you can watch these recordings and learn more about this Vault MX offering we've got in our portfolio. If I put together the this this uh, onion onion chart, and if I put it together. Uh, because I'm I'm a, a technical guy, I would like to draw charts. I would like to draw charts and and how each piece is connected with others. So I created this one. In the center, in the middle, is Domino server with Domino applications. You can use uh, classic Domino designer as you do right now. It requires you to to know. Uh, Lotus script, Lotus formulas, you know, how how the data are organized, security views, forms, and so on and so on. So you can still work work with it. It is it is the same. Uh, then we offer Domino Leap that, with which you can design applications, let's say more easily. They will have uh, less uh they of course if you if if you uh have less options in designing the the output will not be as powerful as if you code everything in designer but for for web applications gathering gathering information starting processes exposing all these things where you need web and mobile access domino leap is a great tool and it stores data also in Domino NSF. So that's why I, I mentioned um, these data are stored in this yellow Domino box. You use web browser to develop applications in Leap, and that's it. Now let's move to the right, not only Domino part. Let's say on the left side, it's like pure Domino part. On the right side, are developers and systems that are not only related to Domino. And uh, as an example, I've got Foundry from Vault MX, and the Foundry can access the data, the NSF data that we have here uh, via REST API. And now we have two options. If you use for designing application Domino Leap, Domino Leap by default expose data via REST API out of the box. If you create an application in Leap, Leap automatically creates a REST API access points for this application, for the CRUD. For classic Notes application, Domino, uh, Domino provided it. There was the, let's say, older. Uh, REST API interface, but now we offer the, the latest one, Domino REST API. You can download it. There are tutorials, there are guides how to start it. And this component is what Vault MX Go use to access, to access this data. To develop applications in Vault MX, you need, you need a developer workstation with developer environment with, de with development environment iris and uh, the uh, language in which you develop and parameterize the applications and workflows and components is is javascript so this is summary how domino in the center with uh, apps and data stored on domino how you can access it from from multiple ways and multiple designing attitudes. 
So this concludes the main part, what is new in digital solutions products, what happened during summer, let's say since April or, or May. So you can see even if, if, it, if it was vacation time, we've got a lot of updates. And now let's move uh, to things that I think could be interesting to you and are not specifically related like to to latest version of Nomad or verse or something. So let's move to other news that happened during summer. First one is a reminder. If you download the beta version or early access version of uh, Domino version 14, and uh, you probably met this environment. For those who are not aware of this, we've got a new download server. The, the address is my.hcltechsoftware.com. And this is how it looks at. This is, if you click on it, you sign, you sign the same way as you sign to FlexNet using Okta SSO. I am signed in, Peter Kunz, this is me. And uh, it, it allows you to download or to find packages for download easily, quickly, and with additional information. So, Domino, mm, Domino, version 12.02, base version, I've got information, system requirements, installing, planning, upgrades, and now I've got servers. All in one screen, release notes, then server, language packs, and done. I can download, I can copy a link. So that's it, easy. And this way is how you can download the preview versions or early access of version 14. If you click on early access program, you see the one was in May, another in July, and I think another one is planned for next month for, for October, if I remember it correctly. So here you can download Domino Notes and Traveler Early Access, and you choose if you want it as a, as a container, Linux, Windows, IXI. So this is a, a reminder that we have a new download server, and you can try it if you think FlexNet is, is slow or, or not so easy for orientation, try, try this one. Okay, there are screens. Uh, speaking about downloads and software and installations, we got for some time, we've got open source initiative at HCL, at, at HCL software. And it means we publish something that is not specifically like product, which is more like information about configuration, some parameterization, things like <coughs> scripts for creating a Docker container uh, from Domino that you can deploy locally on Docker or Kubernetes and so on. So we've got this, this URL open source. And if I search for Domino, it filters out 18 repositories on GitHub uh, that are related to Domino. You can see Domino backup, updev samples, container, and another link that I have in the next script is this one, Domino Charts, was published recently. And this is a repository uh, where I published code for deploying Helm charts for deploying Domino and Kubernetes that we used on Engage presentations and labs this year and last year. And now it is used for education. I think yesterday or two days ago, we've got a session, a lab, hands-on lab for a US customer. There were several people in the room and they, they asked us if they want to learn how to deploy Domino on Kubernetes. And that's why we created a series of labs and Helm charts. So if you are interested in this way, if, if, you, if your employer or you would like to know about Domino on containers and Kubernetes, let us know, let me know. We can, we can give you a, a, a good start. Uh, we, we plan, and it was announced on Collapse Sphere, 
two weeks ago that HCL software will publish on this on this site on this open source initiative. We publish something uh, that is not published as an open source now, but it will be, and you can use it, learn from it, uh, reuse, and and check the check the code. On the left side are templates out of the box. On the right side are are some tools, uh, applications, maybe some scripts and so on. Uh, one of these application is uh, one of the applications is inventory manager, which is what I use for presentation. This is a nice application created by by my colleague by Brian from Canada, this one. And I use it for, for demonstration, it's nice. It is, it, it, it uh, has several components. And already a few people ask me, hey, can I download this, this demo application so I can use internally, learn from it and so on. And until now the answer is no, it was, in, it was developed for our internal purpose. Now we announced, yes, we will polish the application and publish so, so you can all benefit from them as well. These are some of the applications that on the right side that we plan to release for you to, for you to download and, and, and reuse. And last, last slide in this section, in this section, uh, what is new and what I would like to inform you is um, admin survey. If you are a Domino administrator, if you if you take care about some Domino environments, and you and it means you can be a customer, you can you can be admin and customer, and you take care about your one, two, five, five hundred servers. Please click on this link and fill in some anonymous survey. A few questions we would like to get information how you use domino in 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 real scenarios which versions how big is your environment and so on so please if you are domino admin or if you are a business partner who take care remotely of your customers environment please fill it also as a as a business partner and give us information about the the servers that, that you take care of. Uh, in, this se in this session, this cafe, I show some something live that are installed, that are normally installed on Domino. And maybe since they are not on the Domino out of the box, you maybe you as a partner or customer maybe did not put your hands on this solution. And namely, I mean uh, Nomad, I mean Nomad and, and uh, Leap and this one and Domino Leap. So if you want to export, to examine and start as quickly as I did, like within five seconds, I've got a new application and you can start playing with it. We've got a uh, we've got two places where you can do this. First one is well known. It is Sandbox, Digital Solution Sandbox on this URL. If you click on it, you can create free accounts, not time limited, not limited in the number of people from one company or so on. So you can, so each of you can create a personal account on the Sandbox and start explore Domino Leap and Domino Nomad. And this one, this on the right side, is the latest preview 102, 1010. And on in which in this deployment, I presented you the new no, uh, Domino Designer in Nomad Web. So if you want to export Domino Designer on the web that was deployed on this server yesterday, last night, less than one day, please check check this link and and this. Uh, this solution. Uh, this is shared environment. So it means one server is used for all of you. So all test people, all, 
all accounts are in one names NSF. And if you want, if you want to add someone to access control list and so on, you see other people. You will see John Smith and Mary Adams and so on. If you want to play in a limited, restricted environment, which is just for you and not for other people, where accounts are only for you, you can use SOFI, HCL SOFI. SOFI is an abbreviation of Solutions Factory. And if you click on it, you can you can log in using the same login as you have to support or flexnet download server and you can for free create a, a dedicated instance of our solution it could be digital experience it could be same time it could be vault mx go it could be domino it could be domino leap there are there are the, the, the dozens of hcl offerings <clears throat> and you can create your your environment it is for limited time it is for a few days if you want more you you need to contact someone some seller from hcl that can extend your your testing environment for a longer period but this what you deploy with this click 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 is environment just for you and not for other people so you can test you can test it within your company and I specifically mentioned this one right now because uh, recently we added into this SOFI, the Solution Factory, a uh, list of solutions that you can test and play. And we added Vault MX Go, what I mentioned, what I show you uh, 10 minutes ago. So if you want to play and experiment with it without deploying it in your environment, so within minutes, you can see startup type sorry startup time 10 minutes so within 10 minutes you you will have server side deployed then you've got links to download the uh ide uh, iris for developers and and there are tutorials step by step how you can start develop first application that adds new modern interface to database in domino so this is available right now you can click it. You do not pay anything. You can use your existing HCL ID. Uh, so this concludes the the session. This concludes session about uh, where to test applications. And last part is just an is just an overview of of licensing. You probably received information that and at the end of june at the end of june we stopped selling uh, utility server licenses and and updev pack uh, it was not a surprise because since 2020 i think since 2020 you you were not able to sell to buy new utility license or or xwork server and so for three or four years we still sold renewables and now we announced uh, we do not sell renewables anymore so if you got now a license for utilities server utility express very probably someone from hcl or your business partner already contacted you or will contact you how to convert the old license to some new licensing and i will talk about it uh, in a while uh, similar happens to updev pack and we uh, sunsetted updev pack because we've got a a new and better and more universal replacement which is a domino rest api which i uh, which i described a few minutes earlier and domino rest api is available is included in the ccb license so if you have complete collaboration license uh, domino rest api is included uh, we target the uh, the i mentioned ccb as a license to to go to this is uh, our let's say best license that that contains all types of access all features all latest features that we that we recently that we recently released uh 
some time ago i created this compar simple comparison table for partners and customers who would like to see oh, how ccb differs from from old collaboration express and from old enterprise and pvu licensing you see it it takes benefits from both from both older licenses and and mix it into into the the opt optimal combination if you purchase ccb license which is all what uh, customers also ask us hey so i i've got ccb what is included so if you do not want to go go into this you know legal document and and dig what is included this is a brief overview what is included on the server side client side you know, chat same time for for chat messaging and on the right side blue is what is available not for free as a part of the license but you can for a very good price buy as an add-on so if you have ccb you can add for a good price full same time premium or buy dominolip you cannot buy dominolip without ccb license if you want to get if you want to uh, get strict information uh precise what is in each license agreement which is in master license agreement and so on i put three important links including life cycle where you can check when each ver whether each version for each product is already announced for end of support or 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 not if you check domino domino version 9 and version 10 is already marked end of marketing and end of support uh, if you go if you go to this ccb licensing especially from the from the utility license you you uh, would need to calculate the user licenses properly and we've got four types four types of user access in ccb i created a a quick and i i hope easy to understand you know some explanation chart if you buy ccb the the basic one is easy it is like everything is included all types of access web mobile nomad notes client verse anything is included uh, and you buy it for for your internal people now if you have other people than internal you have three types of uh, accessing your server of your your domino servers if it is anonymous if anonymous server is accessing servers under uh, anonymous user is accessing server under ccb license you do not need to pay anything for this anonymous access this by example uh, was not available in old collaboration express licensing in collaboration Ex express you cannot expose domino as a anonymous web server in CCB, you can. Then you can have an application where a lot of external people access with login, username, password. And it could be like self registration, uh, discussion forum, uh, place where people log in and get some personalized content, read only, or they can start a a support ticket that goes to internal systems and so on and so on. If you can manage uh, access for all NSF applications where these guest people are, are accessing to reader with write public documents, you also do not need to buy license for these people. If you need more, if you need bigger access for external people, then we have ccx and they can go up to up to author they uh, they can access uh, notes applications via notes client via web uh, the same way as, as as your internal users the license is cheaper than ccb several times cheaper so if you if you now use for example utility server now you have to decide into uh, you have to analyze type of your users and decide into which category they 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 pass and, and and they follow and they act accordingly 
sometimes it could be hard to calculate the the access for example do i have reader access or 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 anonymous and so on so that's why we created uh, a tool for domino admins that can that can help you measure this one and it is called domino license and analysis the domino license Anal analysis utility delau delau for short and it's easy you just download nsf and unzip put it on your domino admin notes client it has to be windows start it then there is a then there is a series of wizards let me show this one oh, no, no, no. this one series of wizards where you usually click next 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 and at the end of at the end of session it could be several minutes up to hour if you have bigger environment and many servers and many users and you've got this this result and you can see okay we've got uh, we found 202 person documents in names nsf out of which we think 191 are fully authorized can access server internal people uh, some people are in deny access group, so we do not count license for it, and so on and so on. So, so from this output, it would mean I need 100 and 191 CCB licenses. Mm -hmm. If you have external people, it will count external people and so on. So this is Dello. You probably, if you do renewal recently, you probably got a request from your business partner or from our renewal team. Please, Mr. Customer, run this run this Dello tool to, to calculate the current usage of users on, on, on your servers. And at the end of each session, I add as a, as a, a summary, as, a, as links for more information for those who would like to uh, go beyond what, learn, what they learned today and would like to uh, get more information. So, just screens and links. Uh, Software University is a uh, one-stop place where you can log in and uh, log in with your existing uh, username and password for download server, for example, and you have access to, to video courses. You have access to recordings of webinars and sessions similar to this one. You can access to white papers and uh, other useful information that are that are officially cu curated by HCL team. So this is official learning site learning site from from HCL software. Uh, at the beginning of this year, we announced and we published uh, official certification program as a recertification. First, as a recertification for those who already have certificates from 9 or 8.5. Now, a few weeks ago, we announced uh, certificate and certificate exam for those who do not have past certificates. So for beginners, for those who start. So if you have if you if in your team, if you have admins who are not experienced from the past, who start with Domino, they can obtain this official certificate after they pass the test. Uh, we manage and maintain and update regularly uh, videos on our digital solutions channel on YouTube. This is the place where recordings how to work with Vault MX Go if I am a Domino developer. These videos are recording are, are put on the uh, on this channel. If you want to uh, watch also deep dive technical videos on, on dedicated sessions, I suggest open NTF webinars on this link. Also recordings are stored on YouTube. If you want to learn blogs and articles uh, on digital solutions topics. Collaboration today is a great is a great place where curated content is published one, once it appears. So, so these are examples of, of articles for admins, developers, users, people who integrate Domino with other systems and so on. If you want to 
more if you want to be not only passive consumer of videos or, or blog articles, but you want to ask questions, help your colleagues, you know, participate in discussions, then we have two places. First one is official forum, official discussion forum at HCL support. And the second one is unofficial, driven by, again, open NTF community. Uh, the, uh, we use Discord for this one. And if you click on this link, you can join the Discord channel and participate in, in topics for you. On the left side, you can see there are topics for developers, for, for project managers, for admins, you name it. <clears throat> and very last slide, the summary what we what is uh, ahead of us. This is first event. Today was first event in the uh, autumn season of four Domino cafes until the end of this year. Next one in October in three weeks. It will be for Domino admins. Some tips and and. Uh, guides for domino administrators of all versions, not necessarily the, the latest one in November, because it will be very close to the official release of domino ver and nodes version 14. So we will gather what was announced until today and experiences from the recent early access releases. So the November cafe will be only about version 14. And at the end of the year, we usually summarize what happens in the past calendar year and what lies ahead of us for the next year for 2024. Thank you for joining this session. We are almost precise, one hour and a half. We cover uh, the topics that are on the screen, products uh, for which new updates, releases and enhancements were released in, in uh, summer this year plus some useful information uh, like, <clears throat> like uh, licensing, where to test and download our products, or where to get information or participate with your colleagues in, in discussions. Thank you for joining this cafe. All attendees and registered people will receive follow-up email with a link to recordings and other materials. Thank you and have a nice day. Goodbye.